Welcome back, loyal subjects of Spunk, I mean Funk, and uh, welcome back to this brand new Let's Play, which is Attila Total War. I'm very excited to play this. This is one of three Let's Plays I will be doing on this game. Um, I will be putting the links in the uh, description settings um, once the, the game is up. But this one is going to be a Roman Empire playthrough, it's going to be the West. And we're going to bang that bugger right up on Legendary. So just so you know, this is my first ever legendary game. So we've got some cultural traits here, levy units, uh, friendly hordes passing through Roman territory. And cultural training. Now, let's have a quick look at the victory objectives just before we get going. Uh, 80 settlements by direct ownership or satrapies and military allies. Serve until the following day, spring. Survive until the following day, spring 425. <laughs> That's cool. Right, okay, let's go ahead and start the campaign then. Get balls deep in it. Now, I have absolutely cleaned my computer um, to uh, get as much data off it as possible. I've run tune up utilities, I've absolutely maximised its potential, bought a new RAM stick just to make this ever so pleasing an experience for me and for you. Got a really yeah, sad feeling. With smoke and blood. The fall of Rome. How sad. The Roman Empire was divided into two. From the pillars of Hercules <laughs> to the far reaches of the Adriatic, the Western Empire stretched. The sacred earth where men of greatness conquered. Those who followed neglected Rome, fighting over the scraps of past glory. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like busting in all of my keyboard. Despite losing a few frames on this uh this movie, but who cares about that? It always does this no matter how good your computer with the intro movies. Or succumb to barbarous darkness. Behold the red horse, and power was given to him that sat there on quite nice graphics from the earth. And it's just really a reskinned version of Rome, too. Romans of the Western Empire, those noble sons of the eternal city. The time has come. The time had come to restore power to Rome. They made ready for war. Lovely stuff. This should be it now, so we can get hands-on campaign map. Right. Here we go. It was the will of the late Emperor Theodosius that Rome be divided. And yeah, don't worry about that, mate. We'll skip all that crap. Right, make ready for war. Survive until the following date, spring 400. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> got to survive just five years, apparently. Okay. Hmm. All looks good. I'm just going to quickly check the options in the graphics. Maximum quality. Quality. Let's go for that quickly. There's no point in taxing us out. We want to get nice for him, mate. So it gives the monkeys. That should do. Max quality, what do I need that for? There you go, see? Right, okay, so we're going to have a lot of war in the next turn. We'll have a... Yeah, oh, fuck off. Suppress advice. That's how it's done, guys. Right, we started off with all these already researched. So we'll go for a war one. Now, I want my objectives to be... Um, to succeed where previous emperors have failed naturally but we've got to look at the history of the Roman Empire to see why it failed now the main problem I think is that they went through emperors like there was a no tomorrow what the fuck is that? is that an enemy player? We went through emperors like there was a no tomorrow i.e. 
um, there was no uh, time of stability within the empire for a long time and that's what you need it's just like modern day politics where you have uh, people swapping from one party to the other party each year so we'll go ahead and get some hmm, border guards, excellent armor poor armor piece and damage let's get some two bodyguards get some levies, oh, only two units a turn get some levies, get some cohorts that's three turns of uh, troops being built there what we want to do is protect the uh, the peninsula so like I was saying we uh, uh, much like in modern politics you keep swapping from one party to the other so neither party really gets its ideas uh, fully achieved because there's no stability people are upset that things are crumbling and that's uh, just like Britain still in the decline of the empire some might say if you look at it in a certain way so hmm I don't really want to upgrade a, a church we'll get an amphitheater maybe no, we need, we need friggin' military buildings. Now let's get a colonia. We don't have the money. So we'll just end turn and see what the funk happens. We've got an army there, which is probably going to declare war on us at any time. We've got... We're only making 200 coins a turn. That's a poor amount of income. We must have a lot of mercenaries in the army, or at least that's the usual uh, idea in these games. This one's damage, so there must be some prehistory to this... Uh, particular province. Got um, uh, a catapult there. Do we have any units down here? We do have one protecting Spain. Very poor uh, legionary. Not very powerful. We're not at war with any of these. Let's just then turn to see what happens. You've got to remember this is legendary mod so we're going to be in for a kick in. Ooh, provincial governor. Ah, here we go. So here's some uh, politikios. Now we have to assign ourselves provincial governors. Alright. All of these are actually doing stuff already. I'm going to assign this man to an office apparently. Left click to assign character to this office. Alright. Africa. Yeah, I want, I want that guy to be in Africa. You may still, you may still issue an edict in Aquitania. Let's go for something. Probably. Now I'm only assuming decrease immigration. Go, we'll go for that one. I'm only assuming at this point in the game that um, the downfall of the Roman Empire is also economic rather than military. Um, I, I mean province stability, because we're going to get absolutely pawned if we don't watch ourselves. I'm I'm thinking about unrest, and what I really want to do is make sure that the Roman Peninsula of Italy is uh, the most stable part, along with perhaps Carthago. I think that's what we've got to be thinking about here. So we're going to have a hell of a lot of people declaring war on us this term. What's it want to do? Provincial governor. Um. I mean, what what we got here? It's going to take ages to assign all these. Can we drag him over to Africa? I don't know. We'll have him in Af. Ah, oh, there we go. Very simply done here. Oh, we have no more governors, so that'll just have to do for us. Okay, here we go. This is good. We can now get an edict here. Um, we'll get religious conversion because it's a border settlement. We want to keep this safe from anything that comes from over here. However, we do need to deal with this because it's going to settle pretty damn soon, probably in the next turn, which is uh, not good at all, because they're going to spread out like wildfire once that uh, once they've got themselves established in one of our provinces. We need something that's going to give us this food production of plus forty. We don't really want that. Research rate would be much superior. Finally, here we go. First turn is ended. This is a. Uh, this is to, oh very cheap labour apparently unlocked. This is uh, here we go. Oh, oh we're at war with the ones in red. So we are at war with a few. We're at war with the Saxons and the Huns. I can't wait to get in, into a battle. 
and these lot should be our allies, naturally. So I want to rewrite history in this uh, campaign, and like I was saying, best way to do that is to look where they went wrong in history. There we go, they built themselves a, a settlement to uh, start their practices from. Okay, so we survived the first turn <laughs> without getting any uh, massively poor things happen. Uh, so where's the Vandals at? Okay, they're up there. The arrows of death are trespassing. Shit in hell. The thing is, we're making so we making look at that. We're making minus ninety-two gold now, so we do really have some problems here. And this is my my favourite legion because these are the ones that are going, we're going to need the most. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. This one here is going to be a well-valued legion. Oh, cool, look at that. The orange bar must tell you how much he's going to be healed within the next turn. Oh, we've got minus 6 there now. Minus 14 here. Obviously, Britain might be in danger as well. We have legions to the far north. And we may be at war with them. Let's go on diplomacy and find out what the funk's happening. Everyone pretty much hates us. We've got a lot of hatred there. What we really need to do then is establish some sort of relations with... Uh, there we go, at war with the Ostrogoths, the Picts, the Quadians, uh, and the Saxons. So we're going. <laughs> oh, it's difficult. We've got. Uh, a not practice of non aggression with these lot. Oh, right. Looks like they're going to cancel it, though, by the looks of things. And we don't want that now, do we? Oh, we have happiness with these lot. What, what use is that, though? They can't trade at all. These will probably cancel that deal. Here we go. This is what it's all about. Trade agreement, please, mate. Chances are high. That's what you've got to think about. In fact, you should. We should really be um, trying to get better. Fuck. Trying to get better relations with some of these. Franks. We've got a pact of non-aggression. That's nice. So we don't have to worry about the top. Uh, the northeastern corner for now, but I'd imagine all Speak things will change well. in in that terms soon, because this is, as I've said a few times now, a legendary mode. So we could actually go up there and try and take that down, but I think that'd be a poor move. There's going to be a lot of unrest in Scotland. I don't really want to. Um, <laughs> Hadrian's Wall. I don't really want to tangle with uh, Scotland at the moment. I just want to go on the defensive until we've stabilised the Empire. Um, what have we got here? We can't afford fuck all there. Uh, we've got to turn this money situation around. We're now making 190 gold per turn. However, we are still recruiting more units in Meadow Lanham, which is not good either. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, call to arms, aggressor, assassinated empire. So the defender is the Eastern Rome, and look at how many nations these lot have. I hope that all east of Eastern Rome enter war on Allies' side, if you don't mind. We've got to stick together in these hard times, the East and the West. Right. We're still averting any battles as of yet. And I, I keep thinking that things are going to be extreme. There we go. Where are these at? Oh, it's Ireland. Do they have any allies? We have allies. Let's not call on them though. Because most of them are absolute miles out the way. Wow! Okay. Very interesting. So we cannot actually defend this. This is fuck me. Wow! I see how the Roman Empire fell. There's nothing we can do. We'll just have to let this fall. And I can't bring. I'm gonna have to bring those troops down from Hadrian's Wall. Right. Oh, it's decided not to actually have a crack. 
That said, uh, gone to, to him, it's just sacked it and left. How's <laughs> about them apples? It's somewhat strange. Oh my god, the Slayers are just moving and making a new camp everywhere. We need to take these down in one foul swoop. And what are these lot after? This is down in. just down in Spain. Right, so we had a battle there and lost it, but the settlement was only sacked, except the value of plunder was a massive. Alright, that's nice to hear that some Imperitum has gone up. It's better than the kicking the cherries. So, let's start making some moves against enemies, or we're just going to sit here like absolute lemons. Um, so, we got that one, which doesn't do much for us. We need economic ones, actually. If we want to stay afloat here, look, we're back down to 19, minus 19 coins, which is not good at all. I'm going to move this fella down to Torium. Now, does Torium have a garrison? Uh, it doesn't say about a garrison. Here we go. Um, current sanitation. Oh, here we go. It's, it's on here on the right. Toggle garrison details. So we have one unit of Comitatensis spears, one unit of cohorts, one Exploratores, and one Scouts, Equidors, Equites. This is still healing. We do have an Onager there, though. We've got two uh, shitty units. Two cohorts are very strong then. Let's let's have a quick Uganda here. We could really do with a spy of sorts, but we're losing that much coinage that um I don't know what Oh shit, I'm I'm sixteen units we have three six three, six, eight, nine and combined with the garrison we have another four so that's thirteen but these ones are severely damaged now we could home? maybe nick some troops here what have we got Germanic hurlers Germanic brigands actually let's have a a look here nothing right fuck it let's levy these bad boys Is that the horde that we just recruited from? So in theory that should go down to what? Oh, it's still at 16. Right, so we've got two more units there now. We've got hurlers and uh, brigands. I'm just I'm agonising about actually attacking these. Otherwise it's going to go tits up. But guess what? I think it's a really good idea to attack them. We're going to... Well, actually... No, we'll hold off for one more turn. You may still assign a provincial governor. We must have got another guy. Oh, we've got three more candidates. Africa. Oh, it costs money. So no wonder it's gonna um be costly. We need things that are going to add to public order, actually. Plus four. Why not? You're on the verge of bankruptcy. Oh my god, he must have had a massive upkeep cost. Oh no, it's my troops that have got a massive upkeep cost. So it looks like we're going to have to declare war on this unit. I'm just thinking like maybe we should just get it out the fucking way to begin with. <sighs> uh, i got to remember this is on legendary mode so I don't get any second chances. We do have onagers there. Uh, and we do need fucking money. Oh dear. Should probably delete those units and then turn for now. I don't want to sign any more governors because we don't have the money. It costs 650 gold per time. We just need to keep on the to on the toes of the slayers until um, our units here are healed. And if we can hire a couple Four. more troops oh in the next turn, we might we be safe as houses. You right, so who's this? To see like a woman. The Alans, the Swabies. Oh, that's them! And I'll wait with the Randalls.
their allies, right? So we're probably going to be going to war with these lot. Yeah, we are. We're at war with them. Shit. Right, where are you off? Gotta keep vigilant. Gotta keep watching these. Wow. The Sassanids are a very large empire and they're going to take their turn. A long turn. Oh dear. So. If. Oh fuck. If those units to the south don't decide. The ones that we're just uh, at war with now. Oh, we're going to have this to fight first anyway. Let's have a look. Right. Wow, it's going to be a big battle. So we have um, one unit of Vetius Petextatus. That's the general, sorry. Um, and we have two bo border guards, two cohorts, meaty units, but some cavalry there as well. But they're just, uh, they're just scout equities. So that's not good. If we go on... Oh, right. So it doesn't actually give you a prediction anymore. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, we can't actually save this. So we're going to have to... It's a pity that we can't save. I should have actually just put this on very hard. But that's the way it goes, isn't it? Try to push the enemy. Usually more effective when the enemy has missile superiority. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven missile units. <sighs> right, we'll have to fight this one on the map, I suppose. Or maybe we should. Oh, fuck no, we're fighting on the map. Right, this will be good. Let's get the funk in there. A lot of battles. Oh shit, look how many troops they have. We'll probably lose this. And this is going to be the start of the fall of Rome. So it's more important than ever to actually win these battles. We have one barricade remaining. Look at these cities, they are beautiful. Absolutely five tonning, stunning. Right, so the enemies are deciding to attack on two fronts. What have we got here? We've got a lot of boars. Four boars, in fact. And we have the the nobles. Okay, let's go back over this side and have a look see what we have here to contend with. Three units again of... Uh, three units again of hunters we have horses. Right, so let's set these up quickly. Doesn't look as bad when they're split in two. <laughs> Looks like really uh, fair, sort of fair looking armies to beat. How do we place the barricades? He keeps it, alright, oh, okay, yeah, we click the unit and we click Defensive test two door. No, we don't. We don't click any of those things. Who deploys the barricades? How do we deploy the barricades? I can't remember how to actually click barricades. Can I have a barricade, please? If you don't mind. Oh, I don't fucking know. It should really have a thing for barricades on there. Maybe I'm just being an absolute idiot. Oh well. Right. So which one do we want to try and defeat first? We could try and surround one and defeat it and then go back and take the other one on. Like march out and attack one. Let's let's attack the smallest one first. So we've got four units of uh levies, which are very weak, and the general himself. With three units of boars. I can't actually see any cavalry on this side, so I think we'll attack this side guys. But you'll have to see what the funk happens in the next session. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.